Hello friends, let's discuss postmodernism and its tenets. Have to apply postmodernism in the literary theory. Let's see. See, actually, postmodernism is a complex and multifaceted in intellectual movement that emerged in the mid 20th century as a response to modernism. See, there are certain around eight tenets you should follow when you apply the postmodernism theory. Number one, skepticism of grand narratives and ideologies. See, postmodernism questions the idea that there is a single truth or universal explanation for human experience. It never accepts that. It challenges the validity of grand narratives and ideologies such as communism or capitalism. Because grand narrative, there is no necessity that grand narratives are, are correct. It questions that. Second aspect is decentralization of authority. See, postmodernism asserts that there is no central authority or governing power that determines what is true, what is false, what is right, what is wrong. It should be decentralized. Because you cannot have only one authority who tries to control everything. Postmodernism never accepts. Everybody should have a power. Third thing, multiple perspectives. It again doesn't accept only single perspective, multiple perspective. Postmodernism recognizes that there are multiple perspectives on any given issue and that there is no single objective viewpoint. There are many subjective viewpoints. That's why if you look at Ramayana, we know the grand narratives in the perspective of Rama. But when you take the perspective of Sita, Lakshmana, Ravana, and other different, even other characters, that becomes challenging the grand narrative and trying to give the voice to the even, what do you call, a subaltern. The, la, uh, the fifth one is rejection of, uh, not fifth one, fourth one, rejection of objectivity. It, it, it challenges the notion of objectivity and argues that all knowledge is subjective and culturally relative. Even as I said in the previous thing, everything is subjective experience. Fifth one, celebration of diversity. Postmodernism values diversity and multiplicity of cultures and it critiques attempts to homogenize or standardize culture. There should not be any attempt to homogenize and standardize culture. It should have multiple diverse culture, a mosaic culture should be there. That's what the stand of postmodernism. Sixth important tenet is emphasis on languages. Not languages, emphasis on language and, and discourse. What type of language is used, what type of discourse is used, it is taken into account. Because postmodernism recognizes the power of language and discourse in shaping our understanding of the world and our place within it. Because if you, uh, how you gain language and discourse, it is going to decide the final product. Seventh important tenet is intertextuality. See, all text, including works of art, interconnected and interdependent, and it emphasizes the role of context in shaping the meaning. That's why intertextuality, if you see, a postmodern writers, they try to you know, give a lot of references from their own native ethnic culture also. They use even mixed languages. They use their own native languages in English. When they write English text, even they use their own language. For example, if you take R.K. Narayan and other works, and all, they have used the Indian version of English to challenge the, uh, what do you call, the, why should we follow the exactly that uh, given version? Why don't I use the given version? Those things are there in the, their work. And last one is fragmentation and unpredictability. See, the uh, postmodernism views world as a fragmented and unpredictable. 
and it challenges the idea of stability and certainty because everything is fragmented. You cannot try to take one unified truth. Instead, there are many fragmented truths and fragmented, fragmented things. So, these are some of the key tenets of postmodernism, but it is important to note that there is no one definition of postmodernism and its meaning and implications are still being debated by scholars and intellectuals, but these are the major tenets you can use. I hope this video will be useful. Let me catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.